Hey, creativepreneurs. My name is Mark Sylvester, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a graphic like this. You see how the explosion goes behind uh, the letters? We're going to learn that right now. Okay, so it all started when I was watching the trailer for a new movie coming out called 1917. And the idea was that the explosion and the war video was playing behind uh, the letters. And I thought it was a super cool uh, effect. And I wondered if the graphics creator could do that. And guess what? It can. So watch how we do it. So we're going to come into the graphics creator. It, it doesn't matter if it's the online version or the um, downloadable version. Same thing. And we're going to start with a new design. Okay, so we choose new design and we can format the canvas roughly rectangular. It doesn't really matter what size. Okay, then we're going to type in the letters 1917. Type in the numbers 1917. So we're going to create new text and we're going to double click on it and we're going to type in 1917. Okay, and then we're going to make them as big as we can and probably we're going to delete or maybe the outline can be pretty thin and let's move the um, the numbers together a little bit text format and we're going to move it together and now we're going to make the canvas black okay you can make it any color you want but I'm gonna make it black all right so again let's make the le the, the numbers really big to fit the screen Okay, there's our stencil. Now we're going to export this whole thing as a graphic. And I'll show you why in a second. So we're gonna to go to the File menu and we're gonna click on Download Image. And uh, I'll call this 1917. And we'll download it. Okay, it downloads to my computer. Cool, cool. So right now we can take this and we can delete it. Don't need it anymore. Now we're gonna come up to the Videos, Photos and Videos tab up here. We're going to make sure we're on the videos and we're going to type in um, uh, explosion, I guess. Explosion. And see what happens. Hit return. And there you go. We got a whole bunch of videos. So this is good for now. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to download it. And it downloads to my, to my downloads folder. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to import that video. Here it is. Import it. It comes in perfectly. I'm going to make it big. Now, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to import the 1917 graphic, which is an image. So import image. And there it is in my downloads folder. Click it. And then you'll notice it's not transparent yet. But guess what? We can come up here to image color and we're going to remove the gray. So if we click here, and we're going to use the eyedropper and we're going to select the gray. Look at that. Pretty cool. And we're going to click off the eyedropper tool so we can start moving things around. And there we go. There is a, a, a video behind uh, your graphic. Pretty cool. Now to export this, we simply click inside. This is now transparent, so we can click inside the numbers and come over here to video record. We're going to record this. We'll call this Explosion 1917. And then we choose record. And it's going to record for about three seconds. Okay, and then we're going to download it. And when we download it, it goes to our downloads folder. So we have it, but it's in the WebM format. And most places like uh, YouTube, Facebook, um, some uh, some WordPress uh, plugins will let you bring in your WebM, but a lot of people still want MP4. So we're going to use this window that pops up, and we're going to convert it to an MP4. So we click the button that says click here. It'll take us to a web page, and all we're going to do is select the file, which is our WebM here, open it, and we're going to convert it to a, an MP4. And then we say convert. Easy. And then we wait a couple seconds. 
and it processes. And then here's our preview. Cool. Okay, and we download it. And now we can upload this to Facebook, we can upload it to YouTube, we can put it in our own videos, or you know, you be creative and do what you do what you can with it. But that is how to create uh, a moving image behind some text. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss these videos because I'm going to start making some more of them like all the time and they're really cool tricks. All right, see you next time. Thanks for watching.